In this video, I'm going to show you importing and editing video in Reaper. Now in this video, we're just going to go through the basics. It's not going to be in depth video editing video. We're just going to keep it simple. So I have a video I want to import. The easiest way to bring this in is to go to a hard drive. Here's that video file I want to import and just drag it in to Reaper. Just drop it in the track control panel over here. And it creates a track with the media item over here. Now, as you can tell, there's some audio in this. But to see our video, we have to go up here to the view menu and choose video. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut. On PC, it's Shift Control V, and on Mac, it's Shift Command V. Choose it. That opens up a video window where we can see the video play back in real time, like this. It's a pretty simple video with a glass of water with some cut up fruit being dropped into it. But I want to add some sound effects on top of the music to line up in the video. But before we do that, there's one setting I want to show you. We zoom in to our audio really close. Notice the audio is high resolution, meaning we can see the audio waveforms very clearly. But there's one negative with this. If we're editing in really tight, like this, and jumping around, trying to see our video in real time, it tends to be sluggish with high resolution audio peaks turned on. And they are on by default. But what we can do is turn them off to get a more responsive video editing experience. So let's right click the video window, go to video item properties, and change it from its default, which is high resolution, to low resolution peaks. Hit OK. Now, if we zoom in really close on the audio, Notice it looks very boxy. We're not getting high resolution peaks of our audio, even though it's going to sound the same. So we can handle that a few different ways. One way is just to leave it alone if you don't need to see high resolution peaks on the audio. You just want to play back your video without video lag and have Reaper be very responsive. Or we could separate the audio from the video on a separate track. But before we do that, I also want to show you a preference. If we go down here to video, we could turn on this option. Disable high resolution peaks for video items. This is off by default, but if we turn this on, it'll turn off the high resolution peaks by default when we import new video. So to separate the audio from the video, let's right click the track and duplicate it. Then I'm going to name this one either audio or music so I know what's on this track. Then we're going to select the audio on this track by double clicking it and right clicking it and gluing the item or items. And now this track is just audio. So if we mute this track, we still hear the music, but we don't see any video because this file or this track is just audio. And this track is video, although it also has the audio. But we can turn it off by right clicking the video, go to video item properties, and just turn it off right here. Disable the audio. And now we don't see the audio on this track, we just see the video. So we separated it on different tracks video and audio which is helpful if you want to treat them or edit them separately. Let's say you want to start the music a bit later, maybe with the fruit dropping, or maybe fade in the audio, or just make edits on the audio track without affecting the video, or vice versa. But if we want to edit them together, we can just group them. 
Just select both tracks, hit Shift G, choose a group we're not using, and turn on Media Razor Edit for Lead and Follow. So now, if we move the video, the audio goes with it. Or if we move the audio, the video goes with it. So they're grouped. And also, if we create a Razor Edit on the video track, it shows up on the audio track as well. So if we delete it, let's turn on Ripple Editing and delete it. They get edited together. Or if we split our items by typing S, it splits them on both tracks at the same time. And if we delete them, our edit follows the grouping. And if we want to disable that at any point, just turn it off right here. And now I can move this one separately from this one. I'll group them again right here. So now let's bring in our sound effect. Here's the file I want to bring in. Just drag it and drop it onto the other tracks. And Reaper creates a new track with this audio item on it. Let's reopen the video so we can see how it lines up. We can see it's a bit off. Now to line this up, we should know a preference. On the video, there's an option right here when moving audio items to seek video frame to mouse cursor position. So it's based on where we put our mouse and we move it. That's what we see over here. But I find it more helpful to switch it to start of audio item. So now, zoom in. What we're going to see on our video is based on the beginning of the media item. So we could line it up a little bit better. Let's go exactly where the fruit splashes. Right about there. And now it looks like this. But to make it perfect, we should change our timeline based on frames. Right click up here. And instead of choosing our measures or beats, we could choose hours, minutes, seconds, and frames, which is based on the frame rate of our video file. So now our ruler changes. Let's zoom in based on frames. But to make this more accurate, let's right click the video, go to video item properties, and notice the frame rate is 29.97 frames. So if we go to our project settings and we go to the video tab, we could change it right here to be 29.97 frames. So now, these frames line up, let's zoom in, with the frame rate of our video. Move it around to this frame or this frame. But to make it more accurate, we should snap it to frames. Let's right click the snapping button, turn on snapping, snap to grid in any distance, and switch this to frames. So now, if we move this around, it's going to snap to the nearest frame, which lines up with each frame in our video. So it could be more accurate to the exact frame where the fruit is splashing. This one, not this one, and not this one, but this one. So now it should be perfect. But to make it even more accurate, zoom in. A lot of times, the attack of a sound effect isn't exactly at the beginning of a file. So, what we could do is create a snap offset. Go to the lower left, see how the cursor changes. Let's hold down the shift key to disable any snapping. And we can move it right to the attack of our sound effect, right over here. So, now this is the area that's going to snap to our frame. But we need to change a preference. Instead of choosing start of audio item, we should choose snap offset of audio item. So to use a snap offset instead of the beginning to line up our sound effect. 
And if our audio file doesn't have a snap offset, it's going to use the start of the audio item either way. So it makes sense just to use this one no matter what. And now, if I drag the audio file, it's going to snap based on the snap offset. Let's zoom out and drag it so it snaps right on that splash, like that. Zoom out. Perfect. Now to line up the other ones, we can just duplicate this file. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac to create another one, and just drag this to the next splash. Right there. And let's do the next one. Right there. Not this one, but this one. So now, all three of these should be perfectly in line with the video. Perfect. And we could do this with all the sound effects we need throughout the video. But to make this sound more natural, let's change the pitch of each sound effect so they don't sound exactly the same. We'll double click the second one and change the pitch up three semitones. And for this one, we'll bring it down five semitones just to make them sound a bit different and more natural. Perfect. So like I said, this is just the basics of importing and editing video. So that's pretty much it. That's importing and editing video in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.